Hello all, welcome to Tech Chapter. So in our previous video, we created a data flow job using a data flow template. So there we used a Google provided template to load the data from CSV file in GCS bucket to a BigQuery. Now here in this video, we are going to create our data flow job using a job builder. So the job builder is a new feature in a Google Cloud where we can create a data flow job without any kind of coding. Okay. So the job builder is a visual UI for building and running a data flow pipeline in the Google Cloud console without writing a code. To create a data flow job using a builder, so you need to define your source. So where will be your source data. Then if you need any kind of transformation, you can define your transformation. So in this video, we are going to transform our data as well. And then we'll dump our data into a sync. So sync will be your destination. So in this video, we are going to load the data from a GCS bucket to BigQuery. So again, a Google Cloud storage bucket CSV file will be our source. We'll apply some transformation. We'll filter some data and then we'll dump our data into a sync. That is a BigQuery. Now let's go to Google Cloud Console and start creating our a data flow job using a job builder. So I am in my a data flow screen now so here you can see in my jobs I have created one job using a data flow template earlier where we loaded a CSV file which contains 1000 record of employee data and we used a bqjson file to create a query schema and a javascript function now we'll be using the same file same 1000 record to load into the bigquery using the job builder so you can see the job builder option here. So you will just go to a job builder. Okay. So here the job name I'll just give a DF job builder demo. Okay. So I'll go with the batch processing. So source source type will be a CSV from cloud storage. So CSV location we have to mention. So I'll just go here and I'll specify the same file which we uploaded in the last video which contains the same 1000 record so the same file we uploaded to the storage bucket so this is the employee data now you can see the graph here currently only source we have specified that is csv file from storage so now it is green so delimited so we have a file which is a comma delimiter so here you can see the delimiter is a comma so this is our comma delimited file so i'll set up the source now so now our source is set up now we can apply transformation so this is optional but just i'll apply some transformation so let's see what transformation we are having here now you can see the graph is changed now so in transformation so we have option of filter join map field map field sql group by yaml transform and explode so i'll just go with the basic a filter one so what I will do so suppose I am having a 1000 records here and I will filter records based on the any of the column so let's say I will go with the salary okay so I have salary here and most of the salaries we can see around 60 to 90 thousand so what I will do I will just filter the records and I will load only records which is having salary greater than 60,000 okay so there are total 1000 records so out of which we will filter the record for which salary is a greater than 60,000 okay so I will just go here now what kind of expression we have to give as it is mentioned the python filter expression so you can go on this question mark to check the format and you can see the format should be this type okay my field in greater than this way so now what is my field name my field name is salary so i'll just go with this salary okay i'll choose salary greater than sixty thousand so i need a all record okay i'll all record for which salary is sixty thousand not six thousand okay so I get all those records okay and input step for the transformation so for transformation your input steps will be source so after source you will have a transformation so I will just click on done so you can add more transformation but I will just apply only a filter transformation here 
and then the sync so your sync can be a BigQuery pops up or cloud storage so I'll just go with the BigQuery table here okay so here we have option either to create new table or use a existing table so I'll create a new table here okay so in the same project so I had a data flow data set and here I'll just create a new table and I'll give the name EMP transformed okay so this is my table name so currently there is a no table here with a EMP transformed so only employee table is here so I'll just click on done okay so now we have source which is our CSV file we have transformation which is our filter transformation and we have a sync which is a query table so now I'll go and run my job so let's see if we face any error then we'll troubleshoot that and after that we'll just resolve that error and go ahead okay so let me run my job now so it will take some time to get into the running state as usual because it create the virtual machine at the back end so let's wait for some time and then we'll validate the logs now you can see currently job status is in queued status so within some time it will just be in starting and then running state okay, so I'll just fast forward this until it comes to the running state now you can see after two and a half minutes status turned to running and now job is running so we can see the logs flowing here once job execution started okay so let's wait for here if we see any error we can see the red icon here so I'll just keep monitoring the job and as I said it will create a virtual machine at the back end so currently you can see a zero CPU let me go here in the virtual machine so it will create a worker node that is a virtual machine to execute the data flow job so currently there is no virtual machine no workers created okay so this is showing a zero here currently so let's wait for some time and then we'll validate the job execution now you can see the message starting pool of one worker so soon we will see one worker node created here and now you can see one CPU one node should be created let's go and refresh and we can see one worker node created for this data flow job that is nothing but the virtual machine at the back end so let's validate the execution again and after that we'll check the data in a BigQuery if it is successful so currently it is running so let's wait for some time Now we can see few of the stages are successful and it's running now and we can see all the stages are successful now and our jobs completed successfully okay now let's go here so there was no table so it should create the table now so let me reload and check if it created the new table that the employee underscore transform we created and it should have only records for which salary is greater than 60,000 that's the filter transformation we applied on our data flow job so I'll just go to data flow here and we are having EMP transform data table here okay so let's see how much record it is having okay so it is having 736 so out of 1000 it's loaded only 736 it means it applied our filter transformation let's try to query the data and see if it is showing the correct results and all salary should be greater than 60,000 so let's check now you can see all salary you can see are more than 60,000 none of the employees having salary lower than 60,000 because that the filter transformation we applied and let me show you the original data as well in the last video we loaded into this table where we did not apply any transformation and the complete 1000 rows were loaded but now here we created the job using job builder and applied the transformation and here 
is having 736 record and rest of the records for which salary is greater than 16,000 are filtered out. So that's how we can create a job using a job builder. We can apply transformation and we can add a required sync and then load the data into a BigQuery. So you can try it in your environment. If you stuck somewhere, just let me know in the comment section. So I will share you the source file so you can try in your environment. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in our next video.